Hello everybody and welcome to a new video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to set up a Minecraft server for Windows. This is the Windows edition of how to make a Minecraft server and this is a vanilla server for Minecraft. And um, yeah, so um, before I start, I'm going to make sure that you guys have um, seen the port forwarding tutorial because you have to do that before you set up a server so that everything will work for like people connecting to your server. And if you're on a Mac, click on the annotation above. And for anything, I would say, hey, check this out before you do this. Or if you're on a Mac, go there. There's all going to be annotations, so you click on the screen and go there. So for your convenience, that's just going to make your life easier. So uh, anyway, um, I'm assuming you have port forward from watching the tutorial. And yeah, so the first step is to uh, go to Minecraft.net. The link will be down below for your convenience or you can just type in minecraft.net I'm assuming you know what this website is because uh, you downloaded minecraft before and I'm assuming you bought it before too so um so the setup server for the vanilla server software um, you need to go to minecraft.net click on the download is under play minecraft and it's going to be look like the same thing you downloaded minecraft uh, before but you're not going to download the minecraft.exe we're going to look where it says multiplayer server and we're going to download the server minecraft underscore server dot jar we're going to download this and we're not going to download the minecraft underscore server uh, exe even though that we're on the windows and we're going to use the jar because it lets us control how much ram our server is going to be using so we can uh, have more players and uh, other various things you would need for more ram so we're just going to download the jar so i already downloaded the jar for, con for the convenience and you're gonna need to copy the code that says Java hash XMX blah 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 because uh, this is gonna help us dedicate how much RAM we're gonna be using for our um, server. So um, after you download it and copy this code, make sure you download it to a folder, not your desktop, because uh, when you run your server, it will create various files and it will probably mess up your desktop and make it not clean. And it's, it's highly recommended if you put it in this folder that contains itself so um, that uh, everything else will be nice and clean. So just minimize, I'll minimize this window. And I already have a little folder just for the server. So um, you could just double click on this and this will start up your server, generate out the files. But, um, but I don't really like to do that because I like to dedicate how much RAM I want to put it in here. So um, in order to do that, you're going to have to right click, new, text document, and name it something like run. Now if you have ascensions on, like I do, you can just uh, go and replace where it says txt with bat, but most people don't have it uh, um, available so I'll just um, tell you how to do it the way most people would do it. So um, make a new text file, double click it, paste in the code, and we have this code. Now I'll tell you what this code means and what it does. So this basically runs the server. That's the short version. The bit more uh, explained version is the, um, it means it's going to start off with Java and and it will use um, X number of RAM. So it says XMS hash XMS, which means it will how much minimum RAM it will use. So um, it's 1024 megabytes, which is a gigabyte if you do not know that. And then it's going to say the maximum around RAM it can use is. 1024 megabytes. When it says hash jar, so it's going to be, it's, so it says that it will use a jar file or to start up a jar file, and then the file is called uh, Minecraft underscore server dot jar, and then no GUI, just um, make sure there's no GUI and it's just um, a nice little command line. Um, so, for, for example, let's just say you want to change it to 2, two gigabytes, you just uh, erase where it says 1024M, you just put 2, and then G. Probably a good idea to put a capital G, not an orchid. And do the same thing for over here. That and that. And it will uh, start to serve with 2 gigabytes so you can handle more players and that sort of stuff. Now I'm just going to keep it on 1 gigabyte just because I don't need any extra um, RAM dedicated for this because it's just a little test server for the sake of this tutorial. 
So we're just gonna make, make sure the server runs on one gig. And here's what I would like to do with my servers. I like to do is um, I will go to the enter code, press enter, type in P A U S E, aka pause. And this code here will basically pause your um. Let me tell you how it works. So um, once you stop your server, it will not close at the prompt. It will let you see everything that happened on your server log, and I'll explain what that is exactly in a second. And it's a, it's a pretty useful uh, feature for servers, and I recommend just putting uh, pause on another line. So um, next step is click on File, Save, and then Save As, you know, and again you don't, and by the way you don't need to save it, but I just like to do it because I do. But um, this, but here's what's the important thing, you have to do File, Save As, name this um, as run.bat and where it says save as type where it says text document we do not want a text document we want all files so it will let us um, change this to a bat file so we click on save we close this we can delete this um, text file and we can use run.bat to start up the server and now we have a little command prompt here which is um, showing us what's happening and you might get a couple errors but that's perfectly normal so uh, here's what it says it says you want to start the server with the command we have in, inside the text document then it says uh, 182 recipes loaded 27 achievements and then it will tell us the date and time because that's what servers do then it says uh, starting the server on, up on 1.2.5 which is the current version I'm using for you it might say something different but that's probably because you are running a later, later version of Minecraft than I am because I'm filming this when Minecraft 1.2.5 is existing and then it says floating properties and then it's going to give you couple errors such as server.properties does not exist and then it's going to generate stuff and then it's saying starting then it's failing doing stuff and then creates it for you but that's what happens every time when you make a server and after that it's going to make a world and there you go now after everything decides to generate for you and again it might it might take a while for you depending on your speed of computer but for me this like instance like boom done and that's because I have a boss so um I'm just gonna stop the server with STOP because every time you wanna stop the server you just have it stop and um with the pause inside our code um, it will basically let us um, see what happened in here and will not close automatically for you. And so you can say, hey, look, it's, it failed on loading properties. Uh -huh. Okay, and that sort of stuff. And then just press any key to continue and close it. And if you notice, there are a lot of new files that have been generated from running the server. There's a folder for name world. There is a Text file named Dan IP, which is when you ban someone's IP, it will be stored here. Uh, ban player is when you ban someone, your name will be here. The server underscore jar has been there for a while because it's the file you downloaded, which makes the server work. Ops.txt, um, the people who have permission to do pretty much anything to teleporting, opting other people, de opting other people, stopping the server in game with such stop, uh, pretty much everything that the server has. To run out that, uh, this was here before because we created it to run the server with XML RAM and in this case I chose one gigabyte you can choose two three four however many you want but make sure you don't um, choose too much uh, server.log this is a file that logs everything so um, as you saw in the command prompt um, there was error there was um tells us what's going on Everything in there gets um, logged here, so we open this up. Actually, let's open up Notepad Plus Plus because the formatting is better on here. And if you look in here, this is um, what happened in the command prompt because it shows us everything. So that's pretty cool. So we're properties, which I'll go over that in a second. And whitelist.txt, so if you have a whitelist on, only people on this list can get on. So the server properties is a very important file. It is the properties of your server, and 
uh, you can have it set to do various things. So um, the first option on line, line number three is allow nether, which basically will um, turn on and off nether. Level name, this is what the name of your world will be. So, um, so the default world that it loads every time is world. And if you have an, in, if you change the name or if world doesn't exist, or whatever name is here, if that doesn't exist in your server, it will automatically create a new one. And let's just say um, you want your single player world to be on on, a multi, on your multiplayer server. Um, what you do is basically just drag it in here, drag the folder in there from your dot Minecraft, from the save file in there. Name it, uh, rename, change this name to whatever it is, so let's just say, um, text or whatever it could be. And, um, uh, query. This feature, or what I found, doesn't do all that much stuff, haven't done that much resource on, research on it, but if you go to the wiki, it will probably tell you. But what I found, it doesn't do all that much. Allow flight. This here will basically allow um, you to fly, so I always like this on and um, flying for external mods such as zombie mod pack which, which is what I use and um, it's nice to have that on if you use the fly mod from zombie mod pack. Server port, uh, this is what port your server is going to be on. I, I suggest uh, leaving it as as is. Uh, Lowable type, ba this will basically um, determine what kind of level generation you will get. Default is the regular level uh, generation which you always get from um, by default which is named default for, so oddly enough. <laughs> and if you change this to super flat it, it makes a super flat world off of my testing. Uh, enable Archon, I believe that's uh, regeneration if I remember correctly but uh, but Anyway, it doesn't do a lot much fun stuff anyway, what I've tested, but you can look on the wiki if you really want to know what it does, but what I understand, it doesn't do anything that fun. Level seed, um, this is a seed, this is, if you, let's just say you want to type um, a seed for your world to generate, so uh, you could just delete this world file, so I'll just do that for now, right now to show you, show you, and let's just say I want to make the seed something special, such as, um, like YouTube. So I want to see to be YouTube. Um, so basically we'll generate um, a new world if there's no world um, world that is in the server folder. That so basically if if whatever's in this here doesn't exist, it will be generated, but it will be generated with a seed. So that's what it is. Uh, so IP, um, you don't need to worry about this because only if you use Hamash you have to use this, but if you're just um, doing it normally like from hosting it from your computer and use and port forward and stuff, and giving you people your external IP, it should all work. This thing here is not good if you are using it as a um, user and computer to host it and you're using your external IP for your IP. Hamash, you gotta use this. Max build height to be 6 to keep things like this because it's the default and it's not good to mess with to max build height. Spawn NPCs, true. Whitelist, basically if you want to have a whitelist on your server you can have, have it on or off. You can turn this on or off in the console, I'll show you how to do that. Spawn animals, um, suggest you keep them on true. Uh, online mode is basically will, um, basically when online mode is on, it will check your username to see if it's um, a username that has been um, authorized to go on servers and stuff. Like, it checks to see if you bought, bought the game. That's, that's the right word. Like, so I bought the game, so it's going to check to see if the tech boy um, is a premium user that bought the game, which I am. And that's what it does. So, so if you're using a crack client uh, of Minecraft that you didn't buy the game. You could just turn this off and join the server, but I suggest I suggest just keeping it online. Or if the um, mine or if session.minecraft.net, aka the login server for the Minecraft.net goes down, you can just turn this off and use a crack time to be on your server. But I only recommend that if you bought the game and you need to um, 
you need to go on, on offline mode just to get on your server and stuff. But I only recommend it if you bought the game and really need to play the game with your username. Uh, PvP, basically player versus player. If you want to hit other players and make them take damage, turn that to true. By default, it is. Typically, um, basically, this will be um, how hard the game is going to be. Um, so, one is easy, uh, two is normal, three is hard, zero, zero is peaceful, and that's what it is. Game mode, um, game mode is what mode you're going to be on. So, zero is survival, one is creative, and when the 1.3 update comes out, um, two is going to be adventure mode. So, if you want your server to be a creative server, just type in one, and there you go. Max players is how many, how many players can be on your server at once, um, but this is determined from how powerful you're in your internet and um, your how much RAM is dedicated to it and a lot of other factors. But this keep on 20, it's good enough. And again, you can look on the Minecraft wiki for more information of um, how much players can be connected to a computer and stuff. It is very useful for that. Spawn monsters, so this will determine if monsters can spawn or not. Generate structures, this will determine if structures can spawn or not. View distance, um, it, it's just the view distance players can see. I think it is uh, something with text, I think, I think, but I'm not 100% sure. Or I think this is with um, entities, but not 100% sure because I don't really use this and the server works well with how many messages. Uh, messages of the day, this is what messages um, will show up. Um, when you add a server to your list. So for example, let's just say I want to change it to provided, provided by the, the tech boy. And there we go. I go over everything. And now well, let's go over the server commands. So we're just going to run the server. It's going to generate a world with the uh, seed we gave it. And there we go. So um, here's all the commands you can do, so we're just going to do question mark, now I'm going to try to do help in here, it will say, oh, usually it doesn't let you do help, and you usually want to do question mark, but I'm going to also does let you, because I, I'm like usually used to using a bug up server, which makes you use question mark on the little block. So um, here's all the commands, so you can do help or question mark to uh, show this message here. You can kick players by using the kick command and the name. Ban, just uh, do ban space the name of the character. Pardon, which basically is unban, uh, ban. Uh, it should be just changed to unban, but that's just my aim for you. Uh, ban hash IP, this will ban a I whoever's IP. So if you type in their IP, it will ban them. Pardon IP, this will um, unban them. Op will opt the player. T op will T opt the player. T T T P is will T P a player. And how it works is you slash um, in game you slash T P um, your name and the other name. So let's just say the tech boy to um, Nixon three two one. So I want to teleport my for Nixon three two one. I uh, you put in the name that the person is going to be teleported to the other person. Or uh, or if I want um that's basically how it works. So it, let's just say I want Alex to come to me. I just type in next three two one, then the tech boy. Basically, player you want to go to another player goes here, goes here, and then the player that's going, that player one is going to go to. Give will basically give item, so you do give in the player, and if you're on a server, you just type in give. Um, actually, just do give. The, uh, let's just say give the tech boy space, um, wherever item ID. And you can find them by just searching Minecraft item IDs, and you can see all the IDs. So, for example, uh, let's just say I want um, TNT for some reason, or stone bricks. So let's let's just do TNT because that's the first thing that popped in my head. So we do give the tech boy 46 space 64, and, and then they basically tail will send a private message to a player. So it will be, you can do it as shown. So let's just say tail space Nixon 321 space hi. Stop will stop the server, save all will uh, force a server wide um, saving, save off will turn turn this automatic saving off, save on will turn on automatic saving, list will list all the players, save, 
will um, say a message um, using the, using a the server as a person. Oh, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, time will basically let you add in change the time. I'll show you how that works in a second. Game mode will let you change the game mode. XP will basically give you XP. I forgot to mention that there's a toggle down for which basically will turn on and off rain. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. So um, let's just go ahead and connect to Minecraft. We're just going to connect the local host. And we we'll have a wonderful server. You can see it is um, YouTube. Right? And actually, the seed name YouTube is actually a good seed. Wow, that's impressive. I think we're trying to see that. Plain biome. Wonderful, I have to say. Very wonderful. Awesome. So, let me just go over some of the in game commands that you might want to use and pretty useful in a way. So, as, uh, oh, for example, uh, you can't do any commands if you're not off, so let's just off myself. Ah, there we go, I'm up. And let me just show you what it looks like when uh, you do the say command. So this is say hi, and then um, in game we'll say the server is going to is chatting, and then it says hi. So that's um, how the save commands works. And when you're off, you can do that too. So let's just do that. And there we go. And for example, I want to give myself something. I'll just do give a tech boy uh, 4664, and then it will give me. TNT. Or I could just do this. Um, I want, let's just say I want stone bricks. Stone bricks will come. And for example, if you want to give her something that has a uh, item ID or a uh, or um, a damage value such as wool or um, uh, different kinds of stone bricks, let's just do 98 colon three. It's actually 98 colon two. Oh, and mine. Oh. Damage values might not work on vanilla servers. You can see how much I use vanilla servers. <laughs> um, what other commands they are, there are um, that I think you'll appreciate. Oh, um, the time command. Many people are confused with the time command a lot. So let's just say, um, well, this actually okay. Uh, the time command has always been a very confusing command for people to understand because being uh, makes the time command very weird. And I don't know why. So, uh, so here's how it works. So when you slash time, it will tell you uh, slash time. Oh, it doesn't tell you anything about slash time. Again, I don't use this slash vanilla server all that much. So excuse me if I um, not used to it. Two vanilla servers. So um. So to set the time to day, you just slash set slash time set zero, which will set the time to day. Or you just slash set time one, but just to do zero because it is the right command as well. I like. And and if you want to make the time um, night, do thirteen thousand, and it will make the time um, night. That's how it works. Very simple. Such time set zero in this day. It's very awesome. And um, here's how the XP command works. So let's just give my game mode thanks to um, 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 it's um two items actually I'm just saying something else. So for example um, if you want to give um XP just like do slash XP the tech boy will work in this and you can only go up to 5,000 I believe at a time. 5,000 gives you 52 experience points which you can spend on a lot of cool things. Yeah, I think I think 5,000 is the limit. Oh, yeah, uh, 5,000 is the limit. If you type in it anymore, it doesn't go any, any higher. So is this uh, the tech boy given 500 orbs to the tech boy. And that's a pretty cool command if you want experience. Now for example, uh, let's just say it was raining. You could just do toggle down fall and it will turn on and off rain if I spell it right but since I don't feel like spelling stuff correctly and I don't want to figure out how to do it I guess use um, too many items to turn it on and off because it does the toggle uh, down fall thing and on here it says toggle rain and snow hold on it doesn't say um, it in brackets but if you look in here it says um, 
I have, if you look here, Ashley Kim Adams is a bit, ah, wow, that's interesting, it doesn't say how it works on all this stuff, that's a bit, oh, no run, uh, again, I'm not used to looking on the command prompt uh, for a vanilla server, and the vanilla server aspects all that much, but um, it does um, issue the command, and it's pretty cool cool how it works and if you want to turn it off you can just do toggle downfall again and there we go very useful if you ask me so uh, those are pretty much all the commands and here we go you have a vanilla server um, a server where pretty much cheating can happen but it's not as cool as about the server because you can't have like trading or, or um, NPCs or um, other stuff other cool things such as plugins, because plugins are not available on here just yet. Well, anyway, not yet, yeah. Anyway, that's the end for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial. Now, um, make sure you leave a like if this um, helps you out in any way. And um, again, make sure, make sure that you uh, seen the port four tutorial before this, because um, if you just said it set up a server without port forwarding, you cannot um, give people your extra IP, which I'll explain in the other tutorial, so they can't, so they basically can't join the server. But I'm assuming you already watched my tutorial anyway, because you guys are pretty awesome. And um, again, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, so tell your friends that uh, this tutorial this and things. Stuff. Anyway, enough rambling, just um, share this with your friends if you think they will need it. I like it, and if you like the, this kind of content and stuff, make sure you subscribe above for more videos like this and gaming videos because this is a gaming channel for gaming things, but this is a tutorial. But anyway, again, I'll see you later. Bye!